Moya Doherty, RT Chair, hello. Hello there, good morning, how good are you? Good morning. What do you think the public's perception of RTE is at this point in time? Well, it is like the classical Irish family. I mean, look at all the, the literature that's been written about the classic Irish family. And it is love-hate, and it is codependency, and it is, and it is com competition, and joy, and celebration, and rouse. And all of those things are hugely important. I mean, all pub public interests must be represented by the national broadcaster. Um, so that everybody has a voice. Minority groups, the diverse, be it be it um, gender, be it sexuality. Um, and I think that, that if uh, vested interest groups won't necessarily do that, they'll chase ratings. Um, that's their job. It's the job of the national broadcaster, along with government, to create a vibrant voice that's one of interest to people. Do you think public service media has a future in a space where so many people are clamoring for attention and they are not held to the same standards or chasing the same goals as RTE and in many cases appear to be winning, especially in terms of a younger audience. Um, I think that we haven't always um, respected the voice of the younger audience. I think we need to do that more fulsomely. But to answer your question, absolutely, there is a future for public service media and I think it would be a dystopian world, in my view, were we to lose the independent, unbiased, um, clear thinking voice of public service media. Uh, somebody, something, a community to represent North, South, East and West, young and old, uh, disabled, those with no voice, those with no sight, those who have no one representing them, that they can find a place to go to tell their story and that that place cares and will raise that story to national and maybe international level. So I think never has it been more important in the crazy, chaotic, um, fundamentally confusing world that we live in to find a voice that is trustworthy and for people young and old to be able to know that they can put their hand on that and realise that what they're hearing is true and unbiased and real and that it matters. What's the, what is the biggest challenge facing RT right now today? Um, I think the first thing we, do, we need is certainty of funding. And I think once certainty of funding comes, we can then plan because you've got to be able to plan. Um, even though I think that planning is much more short term now than it ever was, I do believe we are going to be living in a, in a state of constant disruption. And we're going to have to adjust to that plan in three to five year bursts so that we remain always as leader and always nimble and ready to change and, and ready to find the best way to, to communicate and to entertain and engage an audience. Thank you very much.